Hello, my microphone is very bad, I had to raise the volume a lot just to hear my whistling, so text to speech it is, first, you're going to need a bunch of tools installed. 1. Using a PC with Windows 10 64-bit is obviously preferred, as that's what I use to do this. 2. Get an Android emulator. There are many alternatives. I use Memu because it fits my needs, and I recommend it. 3. Get the APK for my Muppets show. This is the only site I found that works, and thankfully it has the latest version before the game shut down. I will leave every link and file in the description. 4. Install Java JDK. Make sure it's Java 20 the Windows version, download the installer and run it. We'll need this to sign a modified APK. 5. Install 7-zip. It is a better alternative to WinRAR that is totally free and will make editing the APK easier. 6. Install Visual Studio Code. It's what we'll need to modify the game's code. 7. Download the file that is on the description of this video, right at the top. That is the key that we'll use to sign my Muppets show each time you changed something in its APK. Now some recommendations before we start. Just let the song finish. 1. Extract the APK into a new folder so you can see what is there, like the Muppet icons in the sound files and most importantly the animations names, so you can see them while modifying the APK at the same time. 2. Copy the APK file somewhere else so you don't lose this original version. 3. Rename the first APK file to MMS.app cause it makes everything easier. 4. Open the first APK file with 7-zip and remove these files. These are the original keys. And don't try to sign an APK that still has a key as it could not work. 5. Find Java. Its default path is on the screen. Right click the bin folder and create a shortcut on the desktop so you don't have to go there each time. Move the key file to this folder as well. 6. Make a text file with these commands on it so you can copy paste them easily. You have to replace the mms.app with the file's name if you didn't change it, so it's better just to change the app to mms.app. 7. Open command prompt as an administrator, if you don't do it as an administrator it won't work. Now your working area should be ready. Now, as an example, I'll remove the play and help buttons and make the game load the Muppet Theater along with the backdrop and lights, so you can see early on the continuous process of signing the APK. The login file contains the play and help buttons while the login base is the one we'll work on adding the stage and later on the Muppets. There are a few things you need to know about the elements. The X offset and Y offset closer to the event mean the position of the animation. Positive X goes to the right, negative X goes to the left, positive Y goes down and negative Y goes up. The backdrops tend to spawn up, so we want to raise the Y offset. The animation name component is the animation file you want to load, they are in the XML bin folder and are generally the ones with the bigger size. The animation component below is the name of the animation inside there. Bin file, there's always only one in each except for Muppets and their floor lights. The layer component has three options, pop-ups is the one on the back, mid pop-ups is the one on the middle and front pop-ups is the one on the front. We'll want pop-ups for backdrops, the scale means the zoom. For stages the correct number is 2196. If you raise it, it zooms out, showing parts of the stage you're not meant to see, and if you decrease it, it zooms in right on the center. Keep them the same number or else you'll see stuff squished vertically or horizontally.
Stateler and Waldorf are laughing at my failure already. Watch out for the two events below, don't make them load what isn't there and they can't load something that isn't mentioned there, just follow my steps on this your first attempt. The password is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six. I'm forced to give a password to the key. Text won't appear when you're putting in the password. This only appears when you first install the MMS.app. Don't worry. As you can see I've completely fudged it, definitely on purpose, the layer component is wrong and so is the backdrop placement, which we now will leave at zero to see where it appears. Sometimes it takes a while, be patient. So this backdrop spawns at the middle, it's just that big house's spawns on the top and that got me confused. Now let's get the silly bear and his lights in the while adjusting the backdrop at the same time. Beep. Beep 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 beep. Beep 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 beep. Beep beep. Beep 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 beep. Beep 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 beep. Copy the title element for Muppets and the front anim for the lights so they can have the correct layers. You can name the element whatever you want but make sure it's loaded in the two events below. The bear will idle for now and we'll get the lights at level 3 since it's the coolest.
he's there, but the stage's lights go behind him. I haven't tried to solve this yet and the solution is probably just making the stage light slow later. We'll do this while adding Kermit to the left and below along with his lights and still moving the backdrop. Let's pull a prank on Fozzy and make him freeze after his track is done, which is what happens on most play animations anyway, except Dr. Teeth's and Lou Zealand's. So the lights thing didn't work but it also didn't break anything, so solving that will not happen here. Now our last step is making Fozzy play his sound and then idle, and for that we'll use the story panels menus code. For now you can make all the Muppet play the track and idle by putting the string as idle or make the Muppet play forever by putting the track animation's name in the string.
yeah, 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 you can clearly see the animation wasn't in sync with the audio, that's why I do not recommend to run audio in game and rather just get the footage and edit it properly, like this. Yeah, 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 While yes, when in game the audio was at 110 BPM and the animation is at its default 120 BPM. And on the one with external audio I slowed the video down, I still don't recommend editing audio to 120 bpm, see what happened in the big house video, external audio is best, that's it for this tutorial because I'm already sick of this. You can, ask anything in the comments because I could have missed, something, but that is pretty much all there is to it as far as I can remember of importance. Try meddling around with the animation files and see what you can get. First to post a successfully bigified Muppet that isn't Fozzie or Kermit, and is done on a stage other than the theater in the comments wins a pin because I can't offer much more.